how do we stop Scott from marrying Jillian? Well, I think this is still in the embryonic stage, but I will give you a call. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. What for? Go for understanding. When Cindy died, she left me all the love she had. And I've tried to give it to Scott, and, and, and I just don't want to see him hurt. If plan B works, Scott will be off the marriage go round, and he'll be a free man, Stuart. You're really a swell girl. No, Stuart. So you won't forget to call oh, me. Oh, I won't. I won't. Okay. Okay, thanks. Iris, get me Ryan Lavery. What do you mean he's left the building? I have to hand it to you for brass-plated nerve. Trying to coerce my cooperation with sexual favors, that is even tackier than holding me up for cash. I could always claim you came on to me. It'd be my word against yours. Oh, no, Mr. Lavery. My word counts for something. And when you are brought up on charges and I take the witness stand in court, I will convict you faster than you can say guilty. No, you are better off trying to use your uh, boyish good looks to trade on to get some special privileges in the state penitentiary. And you sold yourself out for a lousy thousand dollars. Was it worth it, Mr. Lavery? And you get out, you make my skin crawl. Thanks for nothing. Oh, any time. Iris said you wanted to see me. Where the hell have you been? Scouting for anyone who will come to my defense. Oh, no volunteers, I take it. I'll make it happen. Look, Liza, can we, can we make a deal here? Please, everything's negotiable, right? Deduct whatever you want from my take home and pay Erica back. Come on, it's not like I'm, I'm biting the hand that feeds me. Your revenues are right exactly where I said they'd be. Involve the cops, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. It's your loss. Well, that's an interesting spin, even for you. Bottom line, I don't like users. See, for me and people like me who have made it this far on their own merit, you are one step lower than pond scum. So if you'd like to rise a few notches on the evolutionary scale and not go to prison? Yeah, whatever it takes. No, wait. Don't, don't commit until you hear the options. There are none. If you don't do as I say, you don't pass go, you go right to jail. And if you do do as I say, it's a variation on the old ball and chain. You get married. Married? You have a choice. You go to jail, or you say, I do. Wedlock or the county lockup? Mm. What's behind door number three? You have two options. The clock is ticking. Pick one. How would I pass? For an ethical businessman? I don't think so. I think you blew that shot. Greasing the wheels of commerce is not, is not exactly a capital crime. Lethal injection is not on the menu. I'm not out for your head. Yeah, just my... <sighs> Give me a clue. What's the pull? I, I, I've obviously missed a few beats here. Are you, are you slow? Or is this just some feeble attempt to gain some more time? Because I'm willing to look past the bold-faced craft. I just want a little service. Your stock is hot. Your profile, stellar. I don't... Why waste your heat on a minion like me? Because I always take advantage of pressing my advantage. I mean, what do you call this? I have you by a very vulnerable part of the anatomy. Oh, you flatter me, boss, but I still... By the throat. Is that captured for you? Your standards are higher than this. My How could you talk to me about my standards? Besides, I like watching you squirm. Who knew bullying the weak could be so enjoyable? Adam Chandler must have poisoned your soul. Don't get personal with me. Personal? Don't get personal with you. You just proposed to me. You? <laughs> you, you, you arrogant moron. I wouldn't have you dipped in platinum. Well, then why are you busting? You're not going to marry me. You're going to marry Jillian Andrasi. Now? Sorry, but I have a research project. You know me, when I take on a job, I see it through. Well, can I help you? No, I've got it covered, but uh, thank you for your support. 
Do you want to sit? Yeah, thanks. I'd be delighted. I haven't had a chance to talk much. You and me alone. Now I get this feeling that you have doubts about me, but I can assure you that I'm. You're I a smart you. girl, Jillian. You're too smart to turn me down. No way am I husband material. But Scott is for the right woman. That's why we are going to save him until she comes along. We. You and me, Mr. Kickback. Am I making myself clear? Yeah. I catch your drift, but there's a problem. See, my mother was born in Latvia. Latvia? Connecticut? Technically, I'm not a citizen. Your tax forms state otherwise. Okay, you want the actual truth? Hmm. It's a little embarrassing, but here it goes. There was this girl back in school, Mimsy Rittenhouse. Mimsy. We got tanked on the beach one night. I blacked out. I woke up in bed next to her. Unfortunately, Mimsy didn't press charges. Beside the bed, there was a marriage license signed by the Justice of the Peace. Mimsy said she'd file for divorce, but instead, she took off to Tibet. Can you get a hold of her? No. She's in an ashram someplace. I don't know where. Well, that's a shame. She'd be happy to know that the marriage was never recorded. You check me out? I'm very thorough. Well, then you know about my condition. Yes, Jillian would make a stunning widow, presiding over an elegant wake. You are cold. Mm. But don't, don't do this to me. You did it to yourself. A thousand bucks? Give me a break. It wasn't even your money. You scammed Erica Kane, bad boy. Beloved fiancé of the district attorney, I wouldn't expect much in the way of leniency from Jack or the FCC. FCC? You endangered my business license. I have to turn you in. Oh, should I call first Jack or the FCC? Ah, oh, call Jack. Just put it down. You win. Please just put down the phone. I'm wild about Scott. Why would I marry him? Money? I have money of my own. You stay. That's sort of like almost. Look, I come from a very distinguished family. If you don't believe me, you can ask Edmund. But your father lost the fortune, gone, everything but the title. Liza checked on it. I love Scott. You love being rich. A lot of people love being rich. It doesn't make you a bad person. Just so you don't lie and cheat. If you're suggesting that I'm somehow cheating Scott into marriage, you're wrong. You, you, you grew up with money. And you're used to it. I, I don't care one, uh, one thing about money. I, I, I have more than I'll ever be able to spend. So I'm going to give you barrels and barrels of it. Just don't marry my son. Oh. I can write you a check tonight. But I'll still be deported. I have to marry an American citizen. Oh, hello, darling. Could I have a vodka on the rocks? Yeah. And then I... I... Just make that a double on the rocks. Will you marry me? I have always wanted to make an offer that someone couldn't refuse. Take a good look. This is the last of Ryan Lavery. Oh, please. Don't even think about leaving town. My joie de vivre just dried up and blew away in the breeze. <laughs> You and Jillian are made for each other. Trivial, glib, bilingual. The fun and games will disappear as soon as we're legally changed. Cheer up. Think of the honeymoon. Jillian knows how to uh, travel in style. Penthouse suites, hot and cold running servants, every amenity known to man. Ah, a five-star prison. Better than the other kind. But not by much. It is not like I am asking you to trundle off of the village troll. You two were lip to lip. There had to be some attraction. Of course, the I do's will instantly nix. You know, you have this dim view of marriage. Don't even... Mm. Spousal commitment. Especially for somebody who's never experienced it firsthand. I've observed it in others. Others? Somewhere between the senior prom and the first security deposit, a little voice inside your head goes, Is this all there is? Another voice says, No. Can't be. So you look around. Where's the magic? Well, you need sparks so you track them down on the other side of the dance floor or ahead in the checkout line, wherever. Flash cut to fireworks. Flash cut to a vision in white. 
flushka to a boring nine to five job in a dismal rent a dump. And then you think, is this all there is? No, it can't be. Pitter batter of little feet. Flash cut to diapers. Flash cut to little league game. Flash cut to a played out couple sucking the life out of themselves and their kids. This is spoken like a veteran of a costly parent war, Ryan. Till death do us part, they gotta change that. Till death provides a welcome reprieve. Doesn't have to be that way. The specifics might vary. They might, but the bottom line stays the same. Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. Bye-bye.